with their famed scoring. Three 60-plus breaks in total from Ronnie O'Sullivan, but a couple of big punches in response from Judd Trump. Back-to-back -back centuries, 105, 117. So how does O'Sullivan respond to that? Well, he's played it okay, but of course, there's a tempter to the middle. Mm. This cube was always going to head, you felt, across to the right of the table. A bit near the side cushion for liking. Hard to get from the bulk colour down to a red from there. Can't get underneath the cue ball to get any stun or screw on it. Difficult shot, maybe twice across. Played it well though, isn't he? Five. Just slightly stretching on this next shot. Might be something to do with the reason he missed it. Judd Trump, five. Oh, look what's happened there. That red has come all around the table. Hit another one. Which has now blocked the black pocket, which he was going to take. I think the other red has, seems to have stopped the pink going to the, the right-hand middle as well. So quite a lot happened late on there. One. Yeah, that was awkward, and sure enough, it's gone wrong. Green ball. Foul. And miss. Ronnie O'Sullivan, one. Jet Trump, four. Probably. They have it put back, isn't he? Now, it's inquiry oh. about free ball, which Mikey Kessler might not have thought of yet. I think it is. Free ball. free ball it is. So that would now maybe change his thought process. Yeah, you've got to be able to eat, to hit the extreme edge of both sides of the object ball, which Trump obviously can't. That's the ball in question. We can hit it, but not on the left side as we look. Green ball. Well, that's why he wanted it so much, because he had a, almost a free shot. At the free ball green counts as one, of course. One. Now onto his colour, so it's a free shot and get himself back in, which he may have done. And if he could win this frame, of course, he then has the comfort of knowing that he 
can't be worse than level going into the final session. That would really put the heat under O'Sullivan. And the way he's queuing at the moment, oh. he doesn't look like missing, really. Yes, he did miss one just now on the stretch, but he is queuing brilliantly again. Wow, that only just crept in off the near jaw. Five. Give me a second, please. It's got to be dead in line, obviously. Not touching anything as near to its own spot as is possible. Thank you. As it is now. Twelve. May have a very slight angle. If he's got one, it's not much, though. Oh yeah, just a. You could probably move that cube down a bit towards the red from there. That red, if you've played on it, looks very tight to me. It really is. 17. Look at that. I mean, I think it will go, but you know, it's not impossible to hit the ball on the way through. Very nice. Again, though, <laughs> frustratingly, precious little at any angle to get towards the reds. There is that red on the right sticking out of the bunch. Well, this time, nothing. Can't move that one towards the reds at all. I think he just plays on the red on the right of the bunch. Problem with this shot is you've got no real control over the cue ball, I don't think. I don't know if you can run it through like a cannon get on the black. If not, you just have to sort of screw through everything and just get the cue ball back up the table. He does did not pot a ball, doesn't he? Just brilliant potter. I think he should be tested even further here because I'm sure he's going to go for the the blue into the yellow pocket now. A bit more pressure on this one with the red up there. I'm waiting as the next ball. And the noise it made echoed all around this waterfront hall, the way it hit the back of the pocket. 29. Sullivan talked about the need to weather the Judd Trump storm at times and he's in the middle of some fairly inclement weather at the moment.
Well, finally, the putting opportunity has dried up. And look what he's done. He's put the cue ball, he's basically glued it to the bolt cushion. It's not, the bad, uh, not a bad way at all for all that to end. Right now, he's got O'Sullivan on the ropes. Now, does he fancy the long red when he's 40 in front? Doesn't have to go for it. Sometimes the, your mindset changes if you're in front or behind on the scoreboard in the frame. Oh, there's your answer. He didn't see any point in taking it on. It went. O'Sullivan was hogging the table in the first three frames, even though he lost the first on the black. It was around about a 70-30 split. It's reversed now. It's been all Trump in the last couple. So O'Sullivan may be feeling a bit cold. Well, did he play there? The three reds were an awfully long way apart. Didn't put his hand up. He may have gone for that plant, or be it, you know, he could have only played it with, with a view to getting the cue ball back. You never really think you're going to get those. Four. Now, here's a, another queuing test. Not so easy, is Ron it, when uh, you're in the, the back of a couple of centuries, back-to-back -back hundreds in the previous two frames, and then these pots become more difficult psychologically. I wasn't missing those before the interval.
The last four frames have been won with four clean frame winning breaks. This one threatens to be something rather different. But it's a very important frame, as I mentioned. If Trump wins it, he'll be in the comfort of knowing that the worst he can be is level going into the final session, but with the possibility of opening a lead up on O'Sullivan. Chad Trump appearing in his 18th ranking final. He's won eight of them. But I think if he could beat O'Sullivan today over 17 frames, it would be confirmation that his game may well have moved to a new level. It's a good shot. He's left the red in the open. Cuba was back nicely. Again, uh, not necessarily the kind of pots you particularly like when you're under a bit of pressure. One that Judd's left running. Well, it's a great pot. Looking around the table at his colour, and it was a very clean pot. The pink to the middle has enough about it to be a difficult one. It's very well played, isn't it? Goodness, that would have certainly cost him the frame. Now then, Seven. having potted a very fine red and a difficult little pink, all of a sudden, O'Sullivan has got control of the table. Eight. That pink was terrific. Missable, and with the knowledge that it was probably going to be 4-2 had he missed it. Not quite as spectacular as the black he potted into that pocket, of course, against Zhou Yulong to complete victory at the most acute of angles. A quite incredible pot. Fourteen. But this would be a great steal for O'Sullivan if he can make it happen. Twenty-one. Twenty-two. Well, he'll take that, but he would not have played to hit that red on the way through. And of course now he's pushed that red a little awkward down the cushion. Twenty-nine. So that particular red and the brown being where it is, possible saviors for Judd Trump this frame. If it takes high enough value colours. He's still going to need it. 37. If it takes two red blacks, could be that when he gets to the brown, 22 in it. Yes, I think that's worth his while. If he can get onto the, the black off what is 
the final red. It just gives him a bit of a cushion. Forty-six. Forty-six. That's very good thinking, the way that he sized up the situation. 53. Being 22 in front of the brown certainly releases some of the pressure that he'll be under when he gets to that ball. Fifty-five. So the green and the best Trump can do is tie. Fifty-eight. <coughs> well, I think he feels he can just afford to have a little go at this given that 22 is what's in the frame. It's very tough. Didn't play it like he particularly fancied it. Ronnie O'Sullivan. Yet another half century, though, from Ronnie O'Sullivan to stop that Trump onslaught. But this frame isn't done yet. Four colours from Trump, and we could have a respotted black. That is a very good shot. Brown just travelling across the table, but he's covered it, I think. Well, I think the O'Sullivan shot that he played just then, which led to that Trump mistake, was very good. Just the brown then, and it should be on as even again. In it goes. It was a good snooker. Four. Yes, he's worked very hard to win this frame. He was behind. He looked like he was going to go two down. But he's really put the work in. Judd Trump was building a real head of steam with those back-to-back -back centuries and in front, healthily, 15. in frame six, but it's Ronnie O'Sullivan who's clawed his way back into the frame and ended up winning it. And so with two more frames to come in the first session of the final here in Belfast, there's still nothing to choose between them. A smile from the rocket as he leaves the arena. Judd Trump pegged back. And we're level pegging again at three frames all.